So shall we continue? Sorry, it took me a minute. So we were going to check out... Oh, I forgot to check. One second. I'm never looking that up again because one of the things that came up is one of those stupid conspiracy theory sites um, saying we've never gone to the moon, even though there's like proof upon proof upon proof upon proof upon proof upon proof that we have. Um, but yes, there are astronauts that have never gone into space. An astronaut is just somebody who was trained to be able to do so, um, as well as other things. <laughs> so. So let's go to the porch first. Like, we'll, we'll enter through the porch, basically. I just have this weird feeling that Montgomery isn't going to be so bad either. I need a more rapid click so you can get through these faster. <laughs> This is getting ridiculous, me coughing up a lung. But joking around aside, um... And those stupid horns. I don't like them. It feels like this... <coughs> <I'm black. coughs> I'm going to find a game company, but this blackmailer isn't so much trying to help us as they're slandering every single neighbor. Like... Everything this person has said... It sounds more like they want to get back at all of their neighbors for something. And that's not a healthy thing at all. In fact, that's a very unhealthy thing. So whoever this blackmailer is is not a nice person. Um, like, okay, here's what we've got so far. We've got... A creepy teenager who's mourning the loss of his guinea pig. How horrible. Um, we have... Two people who... Pretty much mind their own business and are like a nice little Asian couple. And... They knocked over a bonsai plant? That's your only evidence that they may have had the dog? No, that's not your evidence they have the dog. That's your evidence that they're a little clumsy with their bonsai plants. You know, there is a difference. And I can imitate, like, what a small animal could do to something. It's not that hard, I would assume. Um, you have a neighbor who is jealous of the fat because they have maybe, maybe have an attraction to the husband thinking on it. Because, you know, the evidence we have is they have a picture and they crossed out the wife, which is strong evidence, but it's still, you know, circumstantial. It could be for, like, a completely different reason. And they happen to own the same kind of dog. And you have the kids um, who may just want a pet dog and may think, oh, Jason's a cool dog, we can have him. In that case, you know, how would they get away with it? Because it looks like the type of... Uh, kids that just run around screaming and yelling and wouldn't pull off a advanced heist like this, okay? And you have the astronaut who's upset because he lost his cat. Heart disease, which I can sympathize with because I may end up being in the same boat one day. And that makes me sad. So, basically we have this blackmailer who's using all these little pieces of information against all of the neighbors. Oh, and we have the, uh, groomer who hasn't been paid in a long time. I'm sorry, wanting payment for goods and services actually makes fucking sense. So, I mean, so if, again, why is this blackmailer doing all this? You know, I want to know more about the fucking blackmailer. 
fact, I think the one who's blackmailing us, I think they're the ones who did it. I think they're the ones who stole the dog. So they could do all this shit. Because they are a dick. <coughs> That's how riled up I got. I had to cough again. I should have paused the video, but... I'm okay. It's like, oh my god, really? That's your... Joyce and Brad with Tex, Rex, and Lex, and Susanna, babysitter and student in pharmacy. The Porters run the Umbridge Lake Store, a Lakeshore posh restaurant. Triplets have worn out generations of babysitters before Susan's arrival. They are suspects, but there's no reason for them to want to steal it. These guys are antique dealers and they teach Aikido and Oriental cooking. And present of the near Why would they even want to? Oh my god. And Aikido isn't ninjutsu samurai shit. Okay? In fact, I'm gonna do a quick Google search for Aikido. Because I have a funny feeling I'm right on this. Aikido. What? No. Aikido. Thank you. It is grappling. That is not samurai. Samurai is sword. Aikido is a grappling maneuver. Okay. The, oh, grappling style. I'm <laughs> complaining more about the main character and the black veil than any other <laughs> Like, wow! I can't- okay, I wanted to test that. Peer and Grenade? This is like a horrible. There's a kitty right there. That is so cute. Oh, that must be like his cat that passed away. That's sad. Maybe somebody should get him another cat. It might make him feel better. You know, did anyone ever think of that? Maybe he wants another cat. Well. Oh, grenadine. Why did I read that as grenadine? That's grenadine. Is that a thing? That's actually kind of classy in a weird way. Uh, if you don't know what grenadine is, it's pomegranate uh, syrup. Soft tissue, you mean toilet paper? Yep. crap that's not yeah that's a better reason than oh he just hates neighborhood pets because you know he's mad his cat died jason may have killed it that's not a good thing actually i would be really angry myself i'd be like what the fuck you keep your dog on a fucking leash you know your dog a could be hurt and b your dog kind of killed my cat um Poor little thing. I mean, clearly that means the cat did have a heart condition. And, oh, the poor baby. 
That's terrible. If the rumors are true, that's terrible. Ew. That's disgusting. That is royally disgusting. This is like an old dude, so I'm guessing like, you know... That was probably his only friend, and from the looks of it, he's not a classy bachelor, he just... And I like the name Buzz for a cat, that's cute. I actually do like that, so... But, you know, part of me kind of thinks that, no, he wouldn't hurt the dog because I would think he'd have some empathy, you know, I lost my pet and I love my pet a lot. Yes, I'm angry at this pet because the owners couldn't take care of it, but it's clear the owners do love their dog. So he may hate the dog because the way the blackmailer said it, it was like he hated every single pet just out of, like, rage that his cat died and it was nobody's fault. But if the d dog really did kill the cat, basically, then yeah, you know, there's a pretty good reason for him to be a little peeved. And I get the funny feeling like the owners may have not given him, like, a proper apology, which um, probably isn't a good thing in and of itself. I mean, you know, probably a good way to help would be to, like, to offer to re at least replace the cat or, you know, help him pick out another cat from, say, a shelter or something. Maybe an older cat, so the two of them can kind of just chill together in their twilight years, something cool like that. Well, that's just, you know, my opinion of what maybe would have been a better solution to whatever the problem is. But, you know, I'm a rational person, and I don't think rational lives in this neighborhood, including the main character, which is kind of scaring me that I have to sympathize with the main character. That was hard to see. I clicked on that before! Oh my god. Okay, what do you want? Congratulations! What rapid progress. You are really getting into this, aren't you? Not as into it as you are. I think it's time you get back to Trevor Creek and Edward. Everyone's favorite troubled teenager. He's upset then, his how pet. How about a little visit to Abigail's best friend for life? If you're as smart as your reputation, it should be about time to start drawing a few conclusions. Got any leads yet? it was you. Whoever the fuck you are, you're the one who stole that poor dog. And you're doing it so you can blackmail the entire fucking neighborhood. And you're making me do the dirty work so I look like I'm the blackmailer. That's what this is. You know, I, I'm just going with that fucking theory. Um, personally. Because you're a fucking dick. That's, that's the long and the short of it, is you're a fucking dick. Oh, the fact they actually have voice acting in this is pretty cool. Like, I wouldn't expect that in a game. Wait, so late. Hello, Stripe. Speaking of cats. <laughs> One of my pets has decided he wants to help me solve the case. He's gonna... Are you gonna jump in front of me? Oh my god, this cat is, like, plotting to jump in front of me. Like, he only does this if Sergei's not home, and Sergei's not home. Here, I'll pet you. Then you're gonna, like, be good and be in the window. Good. Oh, shit. Somebody got attacked. And my cat is in front of the screen. That's why I'm not doing anything. Oh, my goodness. Stripes. Stripes is saying hello in the middle of a Let's Play. Your timing is terrible, you bad little cat. No. 
No, you're going to you're going to settle. Settle. God damn it, settle. If you're gonna be a brat, you're gonna settle and be a brat without being in the way. No, you have to be in the way, don't you? <laughs> oh my god. This cat is like determined to be as much in the way as possible, so I am forced to pet him. Stripes! Settle down. Settle. Settle or jump away, good. <laughs> So somebody got attacked. Shit. And the results of the dog show. So let's do the clover thing and get moving. Ah, so let's see how many are in the Douglases. Just the one. And how much a creepy two. So we'll do the uh, Douglases and we'll be able to call it a video. So once again, we're looking for the African mess. Right, so it's been like bathing in the kitty litter um because the kitty litter has like a flowery scent to it and he smells i'm getting this the scent basically the fact i can smell again is a freaking amazing miracle but but yeah from the um looks and sounds of it I get the feeling that something weird is going on here. Um, something not quite right. And we're being kind of led astray by the person who's supposed to be guiding us. Because they clearly... And I get the feeling these actually escalate a little bit because... The second one is called Vote For Me, which is, I'm guessing, like, you know, more of a political intrigue thing. Um, it's not implying murder? I mean, this first one is Find a Lost Dog. By the way, the neighborhood's a little more fucked up and there was an attack now. Um, so basically this is figuring out your neighborhood isn't quite what it seems and somebody got beaten up, which means there's something, something weird going on. Wow, that was, like, the most obvious thing in the room. Um, but... The second one is, like, more of a political uh, intrigue type thing, um, which, okay, that's actually kind of an interesting step up. And it's, like, a local uh, election, so it's not, like, you know, big political intrigue. is like, like, little, comparatively. The third one says, you know, uh, danger next door, and is implying, like, you saw, like, the intro to the entire series. It seems to be implying, like, a murder is going to happen, so these things kind of escalated. So, it makes me wonder what the next one would be. Just, just you know, for reference here, like, what the hell would the next one actually be? Because that would be very interesting to um, see that. Holy shit, I'm, fi I'm finishing out this room actually really fast. I didn't even use a hint. So, we'll stop it here. Hidden Square, Nothing Street, Quietness Avenue... Oh, God. So, next we'll go check out uh, Creepy Edwards again, who I doubt has the dog. I mean, or if he does, he probably just has it for a pet. But that's just me. So next time, we'll check out, you know, Creepy Edwards, you know, the goth guy who I think is innocent, um, just for the, just for the sake of it. Um, does it give you, like, profile? No, it doesn't give you profiles on any of the others. It just gives you the ones on the people you're actually checking. And, yeah, once they're done, you can't really, like, click on them anymore. There's a house for sale here, so either, so maybe, you know, 
the dogs. They, I, I bet that's where the blackmail is operating from because it's an abandoned house. There's the bazaar, which I don't know if we ever go there. This game is lasting a bit longer than I expected because I thought I figured this would just be like a stupid little derpy game and it's not. It's actually kind of interesting. Like the story is kind of interesting for what it is. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of yelling at my character for being judgmental and I'm yelling at the blackmailer for being judgmental. Um, because to be perfectly honest, this is like... The worst you've got is a pissed off old man and a jealous neighbor. That's literally the worst we've got. And a business owner who's rightfully annoyed she hasn't been paid in a while. So everyone else seems pretty <laughs> um, normal and not really a suspect. But that's for next time. I will catch you guys later. Bye.